The first person that I got into a relationship with was a pastor. He broke my heart with a text message. As I look like this, it's SMS they used to break my heart. SMS. <laughs> Never no wait to see. He sent me SMS. I was the one not calling. He didn't pick my call. SMS. Ah, oh, really. Now, years after, this another pastor is coming. So I have said, after all the after experiences, all the experiences had. I've had. I could have said, ah, another pastor, I, I will can never, never marry, marry pastor. pastor. Look at how that missed out on my life. Mm. Because listen, you cannot use your past to change your future. Yeah. You can only evaluate and learn the lessons you need to learn. And see, listen, one of the things I didn't do was blame the guy. I didn't blame my past. I learned from my past. Yeah. When you blame your past, you don't do a proper evaluation, you will make the same mistake. True. So when my husband came, I could have said, ah, a pastor again. But I stayed with him. Why? Because your past is not your future. Yeah. You need to be careful. Let your circumstances not guide your confession. Because when your confession is wrong, the manifestation will be wrong. True. Don't allow the voice of circumstance become louder than the, vo than the revelation of God for your life. Even from tribe also, yes. You can say, oh, I had an experience with a Yoruba guy or an Igbo, whatever be the tribe. I would never marry I would marry never marry a Yoruba. Yoruba. <laughs> See one of my, 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 my proteges, oh, stopping her sister from getting married. She said, what a Yoruba man did to her. I said, but babe, you're married now. <laughs> you're married. He said, no, I didn't marry Yoruba. I said, but babe, you can't, don't do that. Forgive Yoruba. Forgive Yoruba. <laughs> You are marrying, listen, you are marrying a personality, not a not tribe. tribe. You are marrying a personality, not a title. So that was why I could say yes to my husband, regardless of the title, because I was not, they, are not, they were not the same personality, my ex and him. Mm. You are marrying a personality, study the personality, not the title or tribe. Mm. It is okay to decide I want to marry from this tribe. Good if it works for you. But please don't base your decision on tribe alone. Don't also allow the experiences around a tribe or a circumstance limit you from hearing God's voice. Yeah. Some of you are in you are in a stagnant situation and you put yourself there because of the circumstance that you have been through. Yeah. Please don't allow it. Don't say, oh, I wanted someone that has hips. Someone that has, uh, 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 what do you call it, waste, I'll be what? And the person wasted my life. <laughs> then now, you're not know somebody with waste. Size what again now? Tell me I was size five when you. <laughs> then you now meet the person and say, no, Kai, never. I never have this kind of waste or hips. <laughs> Don't limit yourself. Don't stagnate your life by what you are hearing. 